the satellite systems that we have available, the information that we have from, from satellites, really at, at this time, it, it's amazing the things that we can sense and the situational awareness that forecasters have. Um, ocean forecasters, we've always been data deprived, that uh, uh, we have not in the past been able to really understand what what, how nature evolves, how storms evolve. Uh, we've not really been able to get the full picture. I'm Joe Sinkowitz. I'm the acting director of the Ocean Prediction Center. And uh, I was a forecaster, uh, lead forecaster, science officer, and I've been engaged in ocean weather and weather prediction for my career for 27 years. Ocean altimeters, satellites that have altimeters that measure the height of the ocean surface, uh, are one of the key inputs that we use in ocean forecasting. Um, ocean altimeters measure sea surface height, but they also measure the height of waves, and that's the information that the Ocean Prediction Center uses is the height of the waves. Waves can slow a ship down if there, there are a, a waves that are hitting the ship uh, on, on, the, uh, on the bow. They can roll a ship violently so cargo shifts and then the ship becomes vulnerable because the ship now has a list. Waves can break down a deck and tear open uh, the hull on a ship how we use that information in our forecast process. So we have an idea what to expect, what the ultimate to the forecaster tells us is whether or not our numerical models are, things are evolving as expected or predicted by our numerical models or by our own forecast. If they're different, then we have to change if the seas are, are, are lower. So if the seas are higher, then we will alter our forecasts and our predictions and our products to match that what we're seeing from, from the altimeters. In the past, before we had altimeters, we used buoys. We still use buoys. Buoys have sensors on them that can give us a wave height. But they give us a wave height in one location, in a fixed location, and you can't fill the ocean with buoys. The altimeter, flying at the speed that it's flying over the Earth, is we get in a routine rhythm of, of the waves over the ocean, and we get multiple looks at storms as they evolve. So we may see the waves generated by a freshening wind, or we may see uh, a pass that comes over a storm right at that critical time when it is at its maximum intensity and producing its highest waves. So it really is an amazing instrument. So we're excited about Jason 3 and, and having Jason 3 launch, that we're continuing this observing system, that we're going to continue to learn about waves, we're going to continue to learn how wind uh, develops waves and the evolution of waves. We're going to continue the climatology of waves. Um, and we're going to con continue to have that very special observing system that's global uh, to give us information about waves and how they evolve and how storm systems evolve.